What if I told you that money isn't what you think it is? It's not the bills, coins, or bank accounts. Money is energy, a vibration that you can tap into right now, this very moment. At first, this might sound completely unbelievable. After all, we've been taught from childhood that money is something solid, something tangible. It's a thing you earn, save, and spend. It's the paycheck you wait for every week, the bills you scramble to pay, the coins in your wallet, and the numbers in your bank account. It's hard work, budgeting, saving, and a never-ending sense of scarcity. But what if I told you this entire approach to money is backward? What if money isn't something we need to chase down, but an energetic force that we can attract when we learn to align with it? Think about it for a second. Why do some people seem to attract wealth effortlessly, while others work themselves to the bone, day in and day out, yet barely scrape by? It's not about luck. It's not about being born into the right family or getting the perfect break. It's not even about how many hours you put in. It's about something deeper, your thoughts, your beliefs, and the energy you carry. Money is energy. It's a reflection of the energy you put out into the world. And when you understand this simple truth, everything changes. You stop seeing money as something that's always slipping through your fingers, something you have to chase or hoard. Instead, you start seeing it as a natural extension of your own energy, something that flows to you when you align with it. And here's the most powerful part. You already have the power to shift your energy and change how money shows up in your life. Right now. Think about this. Why does money feel so elusive sometimes? Like it's constantly just out of reach, running away from us when we need it most. Why does it always feel like we're chasing money, trying to catch just enough to pay bills or cover the next expense, always hoping for that big break? But what if chasing money is the problem? What if the harder you chase, the further it runs? And what if the secret is not to chase money at all, but to stop, look inward, and align with the very energy that attracts money to you? Now, I know what you might be thinking, align with money? What does that even mean? Don't worry, um, I'm here to break it down for you. Because in the next few moments, I'm going to show you exactly how to align your energy with abundance. We'll explore how your thoughts, beliefs, and emotions create your financial reality. We'll dive into how gratitude, passion, and value creation are not just feel-good concepts, but powerful tools to raise your vibration and open the floodgates to wealth. And here's the best part. This isn't just some motivational fluff. This is real, actionable transformation. By the end of this, you'll not only see money differently, but you'll feel differently. You'll understand why some people seem to magnetize wealth while others seem to push it away. You'll see how shifting your energy, your vibration, can bring opportunities, breakthroughs, and yes, more money into your life. So let me ask you one final question. If everything you've been taught about money was wrong, would you want to know the truth? Are you ready to learn how to shift your energy and unlock the abundance that's already waiting for you? Then take a deep breath, open your mind, and let's dive into a new way of thinking about money. Money is energy, not an object. Let's start with a simple but powerful truth. Money is not the paper in your wallet or the numbers in your bank account. At its core, money is energy. It's an exchange of value, a flow of resources, skills, and time. Now, I know this might sound abstract, but when you really think about it, it begins to make sense. Think about this. Every time you swipe your credit card, send a digital payment, or transfer money from one account to another, what are you actually doing? You're not moving physical cash. You're moving energy. The numbers on the screen represent a transfer of value, an exchange of energy between you and the person or business on the other end. Let's make this real. Imagine paying for a coffee at your favorite cafe. You swipe your card and the transaction is complete in an instant. No physical cash has changed hands, but energy has been exchanged. Um, you've transferred energy represented by digits on a screen from your account to the cafe owner. In return, they hand you a warm cup of coffee. It's a simple but clear example of the flow of money. But here's the deeper question. If money is energy, why do we treat it like it's the ultimate power in our lives? Why do we tie so much of our self-worth, our stress, and even our happiness to it? How many of you have had that feeling where your entire sense of security is tied to that number in your bank account? 
That feeling of anxiety when there's not enough or the relief when there is. That's the weight we've given to something that's at its core a tool for exchange. What if we started to change how we see money? What if instead of viewing it as something to chase, fear, or hoard, we started seeing it as energy? What if instead of letting it control us, we learn to control how we interact with it? Money isn't the master, it's the servant. It's not the destination, it's the bridge to something greater. So let me ask you, what would your relationship with money look like if you stopped seeing it as a struggle and started seeing it as a flow? If money is energy, then the way we think, feel, and act around it matters. Maybe the real question isn't how much money you have, uh, but how aligned you are with the energy that money represents. Aligning your vibration with abundance. Let's dive even deeper. Every thought you think and every emotion you feel carries a vibration. You might not see it, but this energy ripples out into the world around you. It's like tossing a pebble into a pond. The ripples spread out, affecting everything in their path. Your thoughts and emotions work in the same way, shaping your reality in ways you might not even realize. When you're stuck in fear, doubt, or scarcity, you're sending out low vibrations. And guess what happens next? The universe responds by sending more of the same back to you. If you're constantly worrying about bills, debt, or what you don't have, you're sending out a signal that says, I don't have enough. And the universe, ever responsive, says, okay, here's more of what you're focused on, more lack, more scarcity. But here's the beautiful thing about abundance. It multiplies when you nurture it. Uh, think back to a time when you received an unexpected blessing, maybe a small refund, a gift, or even just a discount at your favorite store. How did it feel? That rush of gratitude wasn't just a random reaction. It was you vibrating with abundance. In that moment, you weren't focused on what you didn't have. You were thankful for what you did have. And when you feel that gratitude, you attract more of it. Now let's flip the coin. What happens when we focus on lack on what we don't have? The energy of scarcity creates its own vibration. It's like telling the universe, this is my reality and this is what I want more of. And guess what? The universe listens. It gives you more of what you focus on. So how do we shift our vibration from lack to abundance? How do we train our minds and emotions to focus on the energy we want to attract instead of the energy we're afraid of? Um, the good news is, is that this isn't about pretending everything is perfect or ignoring your challenges. It's about cultivating a mindset of gratitude, possibility, and worthiness every single day. It starts with small, deliberate shifts. Instead of focusing on how little you have, focus on how much you already have. Start every day by acknowledging something you're grateful for. Whether it's your health, your relationships, or simply the fact that you woke up this morning. Gratitude and detachment. Your abundance amplifiers. Now let's talk about gratitude. It's not just a polite habit or something you say at the dinner table. Gratitude is a powerful tool that can transform your energy. When you express gratitude, you're essentially tuning your frequency to match abundance. It's like adjusting the dial on a radio. When you express thanks, you start resonating with wealth, opportunity, and joy. And guess what? The universe hears that frequency and matches it by sending more things for you to be grateful for. Here's an example. Imagine you find a coin on the sidewalk or someone buys you a coffee. For many of us, these moments pass by without much thought. But what if you paused for a moment, smiled, and genuinely felt thankful for that small boost of abundance? That feeling of gratitude doesn't just make you feel good. It changes your vibration, sending a signal to the universe that you're open to more. But here's the catch. Gratitude is only half of the equation. The other half is detachment. Attachment comes from fear. The fear of losing what you have, the fear of not having enough, the fear that there's not enough abundance to go around. And fear? Fear kills energy. It creates resistance. When we cling too tightly to money or the idea of wealth, we actually push it away. Think about the people you know who have an easygoing, relaxed relationship with money. They're not stressed about every cent. They don't obsess over their next paycheck. And yet money flows to them naturally. It's not luck. It's energy. Their relaxed, detached attitude creates space for abundance to flow in. So how do we balance gratitude with detachment? 
by appreciating what we have without letting it define our happiness or sense of worth. Gratitude keeps the door open for abundance and detachment ensures that energy flows freely without resistance. Creating value and following passion. Money is a mirror. It reflects the value you create in the world. When you solve problems, offer solutions, offer solutions, or share your unique gifts, the energy of money finds its way to you. It's not about pursuing money for the sake of money. It's about offering value to others. The more value you bring to the world, the more your financial flow will grow. Think about your favorite entrepreneur, artist, or creator. Did they start out obsessed with money? Probably not. Uh, they started with a passion for their craft, for creating something that resonated with people. Money came as a byproduct of their passion and their dedication to offering value. So let me ask you this. What unique value can you offer the world? What are you passionate about? What is it that lights you up and makes you forget about time? When you follow your passion, when you create value, you tap into a frequency of energy that naturally attracts abundance. When you work from a place of passion, your vibration rises. And that's when the magic happens. Money starts to flow in ways you never expected. It's not about focusing on the money. It's about focusing on the value you bring. Visualizing and embodying the energy of wealth. Here's a simple exercise. Close your eyes for a moment and imagine your dream life. Picture it vividly. What does your ideal home look like? What are you doing for work? How does it feel to be living in abundance, to have everything you need at your fingertips? Now don't just see it, feel it. Feel the joy, the excitement, the freedom. That's the vibration of wealth. Uh, it's not just a dream, it's an energetic state that you can tap into right now. Visualization is like rehearsing your future reality. When you imagine your dream life and feel the emotions associated with it, your brain and body align with that reality. It's like programming your subconscious mind to look for opportunities and take action that brings you closer to that vision. Shift your beliefs to unlock wealth. Finally, let's talk about beliefs. Your beliefs about money shape your reality. If you believe that money is scarce, that it's hard to come by, that it's for the lucky or the already wealthy, then guess what? You're going to attract more scarcity into your life. But here's the good news. Beliefs aren't permanent. They're habits of thought, and habits can be changed. Start by affirming new, empowering beliefs. I am deserving of wealth. Money flows to me easily and effortlessly. And don't just say these words, feel them. Imagine what it would feel like to have money flowing in effortlessly. Imagine the relief, the joy, the peace of mind. The more you embody these beliefs, the more your reality will start to shift. Let's quickly recap. Money is energy, a reflection of the value you create. Your thoughts, emotions, and actions are the key to unlocking it. By shifting your mindset, focusing on gratitude, detaching from fear, and aligning with abundance, you open the door for money to flow effortlessly into your life. If this message resonated with you, share it with someone who needs to hear it. Drop a comment below with your thoughts or experiences, and let's continue this conversation. Together, we can raise our vibrations and align with the frequency of wealth. Thank you so much for listening. Stay abundant, my friends.